Okay, I'm back. Uh, it seems the action camera, the battery is dead. That's what I believe. Um, so I'm going to continue on this walk. I'm probably not even going to upload this. It's really not worth it. All those cars straight ahead, that's them. 99% of those cars. See that, that zooming of that car you hear right there? That's because I'm feeling the Holy Spirit. They, they sense the Holy Spirit. So once the Holy Spirit kicks in, they'll zoom on their car engine. That induces stress. Because usually when the Holy Spirit talks, you don't know what he's saying. You're very still when God speaks. They take advantage of that. And they... So it stresses you out and it really draws you away from God. Um, it makes it very difficult to hear from God. Those are their tactics. It's how it is. But uh, the Lord sees all this stuff. And I'll just... I cannot record or explain the spiritual. <laughs> um, these I don't even know if you hear it, but these zooming car engines, are, they're hooked up to my emotions. So all the cars driving around here, um, I, they have a complete tight leash um, just because they could zoom um, and it's connected to the emotions that I'm having. And that's how um, it induces pride. Um, you can't feel any weak emotions if you feel sorrow or scared or anything vulnerable. They, um, they swoop right in so, so it hardens your heart. And... Um, it's very difficult. It's very trying. You need the Lord's grace. I feel like the Lord wants me to be recording this. I don't know if I'll get the footage from earlier before. And if anyone is watching... If anyone is watching, I, I thank you for taking along. You don't have to be watching this. <laughs> I got a new phone. There's a lot of storage room on this phone. Thank God. Which I'm very pleased with. And uh, So I can probably record for at least an hour or two. And I, I thank the Lord that um, for his protection. Because they just break out. Anything they can get their hands on. They destroy it. So, I, I'm on there right now. You think I'm in an empty, isolated street. Oh, isn't this peaceful? All the cars right here. Um, their zooming engines are hooked up to my emotions. So, it's like um, complete tyranny. Um, complete oppression. And uh, if anything stressful happens, you know, they'll be right there. So, you can't really feel anything. All you can do is feel the trauma. If you can imagine.
and it's like the one comes down the street and it's weird it's like when they zoom their car engines it's also hooked up to my brain so um they can keep you just from sitting out outside in your front lawn because they just zoom down the street and um when you hear the motor of that car it's hooked up to your brain and it's just like leads you into nothingness it just makes you you can't help but it's just spiritually hooked up to your brain and you can't help but focus on the, the motor of that car going down the street and it's just making you focus on nothing so that's how they used to keep me just from going outside i couldn't even go outside in my other days because they would just hypnotize you to death and um and you know the longer you stay here the stronger it gets because there's no one to talk to you this is all the only this is all you got so you see they're zooming down the street and you probably can't see but that's them they're not going to go near the camera whatever they can circle around me just enough you know I'm, a, I'm like a little rat in the cage you know complete control complete control um Yeah, I mean, really, um, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of programmed to not really talk about um, the depths of my targeting. Um, but uh, it's a lot worse than, than this. If you can imagine, um, I have to sleep with a lot of fans running. And um, just to protect me from the noise. I need a wall of noise just so I could, pretty much the deal is the more white noise I have in my house, the more privacy I, I have. So I need noise when I'm using the bathroom. There's all these psychological disorders that you develop from uh, this type of spiritual surveillance. Um, it's very, very bad. So, but they love this stuff. They love when you bring a camera out and you try to draw them out. They love this stuff. Absolutely love it. So, that's how it goes. Oh, the kid just drove by me. They love, yeah, they, they can't help themselves. When it comes to children, they can't help themselves. Uh, they get all excited. So, how it goes. I feel like the Lord wants me to do this, so I'll walk. And this is designed to be like, what? Nothing's going on. There's no one here. There's no cars driving by you. But um, that's what they're trying to do. That's the idea. Um, they have complete control of the situation. So uh, that's how it is. It's like when you try to prove it to somebody, they back off. And then when, you know, there's no one watching or something, then they'll be all over you. And uh, you can't, you can't control the situation when they have complete surveillance over you and they're just toying with you like that. So that's how it is here. But, uh, it's like they're hooked up to a uh, spiritual algorithm, a reptilian spiritual algorithm. Um, there's no, very little intellect they're wise to do evil, but um, but they are foolish at the same time. All they know is to keep doing the same thing over and over again. That's all they know. So, that's it. Oh, I see you. And you get the hand waves. Whatever. They just look like that. That inhuman look on their face just looks so stupid. <laughs> but it's true. So if I go down Park Avenue, that'll draw them out. So that's my little walk.
and uh, that's it. See, the game is, see what would be happening if the camera wasn't rolling? Um, while I'm going on walks like this, it'll be in sections. Like, um, Satan's tactics are very effective. Um, you don't kill somebody by just hitting them in one spot. You just chop them into pieces. So that's what they do. Um, they hit you. Um, and then, they, then leave you alone for five minutes. And then once your heart starts resting, again, they'll get you again. It's like up, down, up, down, up, down until you die or something. So that's how it goes. So whatever. I don't really care about trying to capture them. We're just walking. So they're driving up behind me. Playing games. But they love this stuff because they love to feel like they have control over the situation. So they'll show up behind me. That's right. You have control. There you go. They just love it. They're narcissistic. They can't help it. They love this stuff. So. It really doesn't matter. So let's pray. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, um, I just thank you for all you've done, all you've given and allowed us to have. And I thank you for my brothers and sisters thank you for your salvation we thank you that we are the head and not the tail that you deliver us from our enemies and, and you are a good father lord you are a faithful lord you make a way where there is no way because this there is no way and you make a way lord and i thank you i personally I, I just thank you for your restraining hand just to be able to exist i thank you lord um thank you and Lord, whatever they have planned, we come against it in Jesus' name. We lift up the body of Christ. We lift up righteousness over our countries. Um, we lift up justice in Jesus' name. And uh, I know you are turning the tables, Lord. You are moving. And uh, we just thank you. Whatever they have planned tonight at 3 a.m. at midnight, we bind it in the name of Jesus. We cast it out into a dry place. We lose life, we lose provision, Lord. We lose wisdom and discernment. We lose grace. We lose light. Hallelujah, amen. So here they start coming out. so weird it's like right when I say that it's like your very existence works against you it's really interesting it's really interesting oh, hand. now a tactic they do is um, they do little hand signal hate signals um, so when they when they drive by you and you look at them they'll just move a, you know they'll have their hand on top of the steering wheel for example they'll just move a finger so um it's meant to hypnotize you and they don't st they stop at nothing they've been doing it for years so um so you know it's hypersensitivity so eventually you get focused on that little finger you'll never record it on a camera you'll never prove it they do like little hand signals and stuff mocking you yeah um they can't help it you notice how my throat just caught up as i'm saying that like once you get the one up on them they do some kind of spiritual attack from another dimension so it's interesting so. it's all about him they keep hypnotizing you and brainwashing you away from god keep traumatizing you it's an endless conveyor belt That's kind of the idea. Just an endless conveyor belt of death. 
and uh, they stop at nothing because that's their tactic and and we even see that on the internet guys you know your fake news those who um have sold out to satan it doesn't matter how much you contradict them or how much they're wrong they're just going to keep going they're just going to keep going with their agenda keep up the mind control that's satan's tactic just keep going because that's all they got that's what they do here that's what they do online it's just that broad stroke They do little hands, you can't see it on the camera, but every time they drive by, they do some kind of, uh, they hypnotize you. They make faces um, to try to trigger your emotions and all that stuff. No, they're coming out. Yeah, they're coming out. And it's like when they zoom, that that car engine, um, it's like it speaks to your brain or something, and it hypnotizes you. So, you see, it just comes out in spurts. See, that, so that was like kind of an attack. And then when you start, and you're you're all um, hyped up now. So then when you start relaxing, then they'll come again. But anyway, the Bible says. Um, on that day, the Lord will take away the round tires like the moon, the clanking of chains, the um, the sound of the whip. Um, these are all car sounds. Um, these are all sounds they could do with their motors or the the uh, landscaping guys when they drive by our house. It's perfectly synced up with your emotions, so that's how we know. With, they're ahead of us in time because there's no way somebody could drive that down the block and it just so happens when I look out my window as I turn as I'm in my kitchen bam they just happen to drive past my window at that very moment so so they always try to be in your face at all times to make sure you're completely oppressed and so so they're ahead of us in time that way it's the only way they could time that it's just like configured that way um and by the Lord's grace, they try to zap you when they drive by too, but the Lord is pretty good that way, pretty restraining. Um, they induce emotions on you. When that guy just drove by, it's like they change the frequency in your heart and in your brain. They mess with you. Um, they induce fear on you. Anything. So for example, so let's say I'm listening to um, I'm listening to my audio Bible, and if there is a um, if there is an a uh, a rebuking verse like the Lord is going to get them or something like that, they make your heart like yeah, you know that they manipulate your heart that way to try to lure you into into the flesh, and it's so um, it's very difficult sometimes. And I think it's all uh, the tree of knowledge of good and e of good and evil. There you go. This is how we know it's true. They just trip you up like that. The tree of knowledge of good and evil. They um. There we go. The fire chief is in on it. He just drove past me, and just gave me a hand sign. There we go. <laughs> well, it's true. You did. You know, that was the fire chief car. Okay. Um. Now listen. I'm all for our first responders, absolutely, and I don't believe I've posted anything against them. But um, there are people; they are used to attack innocent people. They are weaponized, and they use um, those in law enforcement who don't know any better to we they weaponize them too. I've written about this. This is the this is a fact, guys. And yes, I pray for the law enforcement. I pray for their discernment and protection. The, those that are innocent, 
Absolutely. I absolutely do. But I'm telling you, um, you cannot not speak about this because they hide behind this. Okay? It's a common thing for targeted individuals. The fire department, okay? Do you know how loud their horns are in those fire trucks? Okay? They try, they just drive past your house and go, bop, bop. Traumatize you. It goes right to your heart. Prove it. It's just a fire truck honking his horn, right? It's murder. Um... I could just go on and on. And uh, I remember years ago, the Lord showing me your approach to the fire department twice. Because um, it's very deadly. What the fire department does is very deadly. And yes, we, we support we support the innocent. We support our first responders. But um, we're not going to not talk about this. Because this is how they get away with what they get away with, by hiding behind that. This is one of the main tactics. Um, so if you, um, a, what's been used, weaponized against me very often, just walking past the firehouse and that big loud horn just to get you, it could kill you if you don't have the Lord's protection because under this type of surveillance, under this type of stalking, you're so sensitized, uh, a motorcycle driving past you could kill you if you don't have the Lord's protection. So you get so sensitized to this stuff. So that's kind of the idea when they do some kind of witchcraft where their motors are hooked up to your emotions. You get exposed to that for years. Just being outside could just kill you over nothing. Just regular everyday life could kill you. If you can imagine. And it's weaponized against you. That's what it's like here. I used to walk around with my headphones on. Um all the time in my early days of my targeting I would listen to my mp3 player all the time and the Lord took the, that away um, and when I first had to walk around without headphones on it was scary I wasn't used to it and I, I remember seeing those you know those guys in your acronyms your FBI CAA guys like looking at me like this could kill you just walk just not having headphones on walking out there in the streets but, but the Lord is good I got used to it so he strengthens us and makes a way. And I understand if you don't experience these things, you can't understand, but this is what it's like. This is why, you know, you can't record and prove your gang stalking. Um, you're not gonna know somebody's being gang stalked by what they video. If it looks crazy and it looks like they're just filming regular people and they're just acting all anxiety and it just seems crazy to the natural world, that's how it's real. And everyone, everyone's videos are the same. You're just recording natural life. They're all out to get you because regular everyday life is just pretending. It's the Truman Show on steroids. So. Um, I don't know. So... I did film the first part of this video on another camera that died. And I don't think I'm going to upload it. I could very easily just upload this video with one shot. So maybe I'll do that. Um, so we're just walking around. Here we go. Here they come. See, maybe if they know that I keep doing this, they'll get a cop to drive past me. And, um, you know, they'll make a complaint. Oh, this guy's walking around with a camera videotaping everybody. I'm worried about this. So the cop will stop me or something like that. Um, you know, same tactics. Um, so, yes, of course, I absolutely support our first responders and everything. But God, you have to talk about that this is going on. It's wheat and tares, man. Wheat and tares. And I never preached anything about going up against... The co hey, if the cops come up to arrest me, I'm going to let them arrest me. I don't attack the police. I don't care. I'll let them, I'll let them have their way with me. I give it to the Lord. And uh, they know that. And they're not going to do that. Um, they, they'll put you in a situation where you have to fight. Like, you, you know, your family will fight, will, they'll cause problems in your family in fighting. You know, they can't, they'll never put you in a situation where you can just, you know. 
They'll put you in a situation that's unfair. Get everyone you love up against you and you can't just not say anything. Or, you know, they'll put you in a situation where all you could do is lose. That's what the devil does. Always overplays their hand. Man, I really have to use the restroom. All right, I'm gonna start my prayer walk. So I'm gonna head down to that circle anomaly in my neighborhood. I really have to use the restroom though. Maybe I'll just stop the video. Um, I don't know. I felt like the Lord wanted me to do this. And the first half, I'm not going to upload. It was on another camera, which, you know, that battery is dead, so. And, uh, uh this is a taste of what it's like. I don't know. Um, is there anything else I could say, Lord? See, they just encircle you. I don't know. You know, it's very hard to prove. You can't, you can't capture in the, um, you can't capture in the secular what's spiritual. So, so you, you know, the first half of this video, not many cars were around, but then they start coming out. You know. So you know, you'll notice the inconsistency. At first it was dead quiet. And you know, they just do their pointless turns. Um, it doesn't make sense. If you watch the directions they come from, you can tell something's up because it doesn't make sense for someone to go in that direction from the way they came. Um, they're just going in circles. They don't have a destination. They're not driving at a destination. So. This is kind of a taste of what it's like. It's impossible to prove. But, uh, how it is. And I really had to use the restroom. Let me find a way to do that. And I really wish, I, I you know, I pray. I don't pray this, but I, I just wish, um, I wish I had some friends. <laughs> And I knew some brothers and sisters to just take a walk with me and hang out and just show them because the stuff that's going on here and it really makes you ponder um, lately, just all the stuff going on. If I could just speak openly, like I've been really meditating on and just watching, like seeing the relentlessness of the enemy and it really makes you see God's justice and the stories in the Bible, like Ecclesiastes 3 is a time for everything. The time to live, the time to die, you know, and there is a time to kill. And um, this, you know, the destruction of our enemies is not about even justice or judgment. It's a preservation of life. Um, we plead for judgment to come because we keep getting our teeth kicked in the curb every, every second. We can't live, we can't operate, we're completely smothered. Like the Lord says, it demands a sacrifice. They're, they're that bad, it's that bad. And just how you could, you could see how it's just, this is how bad it is. The quietness, the, oh, everything's normal looking here. That's how bad it is. One and a half hour. So they have complete control. They could smother you with cars for a long time and then they'll back off. And then that very silence stresses you out. You become so used to those cars being around you and then when they back off like this 
after an attack like that and an attack like that um that very silence them just not being here like this becomes an attack you know um if you could just imagine the spiritual situation here and when you have someone what's the worst thing you could do someone under surveillance to the secular world the word surveillance is like oh it's just some innocent you know harmless thing when you have someone under surveillance you could be judge jury and executioner who's gonna stop you and that's the problem who's gonna stop you who's gonna say anything that's the deal You know, the FBI and stuff, this is how the gang stalking, that's how the FBI got rid of the Black Panthers. They didn't arrest them. Um, when they can't arrest you, they'll just gang stalk you. They'll just, you know, they have you under surveillance. They'll just start doing psychotic things in your natural everyday life until you just go nuts and you just credit yourself. It's the way of the world. And that's a complete uh, satanic ritual uh, thing. I'm pretty much here in this little circular anomaly. So let's go for a walk. If I can find it. We're in this area. Father God, I just lift up this area and and what this area was built on, Lord, I come in agreement. We redeem this land. I ask you to forgive the sins of this land. I ask you to redeem the sins of this land. You see how small the houses are, really cute, very strange. I don't know, we love you, Lord. And um, we love standing for your truth. And, uh, I really feel like I'm backwards in time. I haven't walked around with a camera attached to me since like 2015, talking about my targeting and stuff. <laughs> Um, there were times I walked this very streets talking into my camera about my target. It was very curved, this very street, I remember. And uh, that's how it is. I have a fire department uh, very close to me, right down the block. So I always have to be on guard as that horn will uh, sound um, when I least expect it. So they haven't done that to me in a very long time, but you never know. Um, I'll throw you an example. There were times I used to go to the library and they have ever, you know, had me under so much surveillance. There was a fire department right across the street from that library. And let me tell you, you know, that big horn that the fire department blast outside that the whole town could hear. If I was like looking at a movie that I found something that maybe I didn't see or there was, just a moment of anxiety and they honk that horn at that exact moment. I mean, it's completely traumatizing you. You know, when when horns and stuff like that are hooked up to your emotions, uh, that's, that's what we're talking about here. That is uh, the trauma-based mind control. And the lower levels of gang stalking, they give it to uh, people for money, you know, they, they give gift cards to people and um, they use what's called remote neural monitoring, which, and I've seen this with my own eyes, guys. In my earlier days of gang stalking, they human traffic you. That's what they do. They sell your soul pretty much to just thugs who just do it for gift cards. Um, they tell them whatever they want, you know, oh, this guy's a pedophile or something like that, whatever. And I literally have seen on their phone what I'm looking through at my very eyes. So they have your thoughts and they have your brain as an app on their phone. And um, so that that's the most secular level, the lower levels of gang stalking. Now it's all telepathic. So um, it's all like automatically hooked up to them, to, you know, whatever is going on. But on the lower levels of gang stalking, they, that's what they do. And people do that for gift cards. They have for 15 bucks an hour or whatever. I, I've seen it with my own eyes and I wasn't supposed to see that. In color, it was all grainy. It was pixelated a little, but I saw on one of their phones exactly what I was looking at with my eyes um, in real time. So they literally have your brainwaves as an app on a phone. 
and uh, you know, that's remote neural monitoring. They made a movie about this in, in the early 90s, Strange Days. It was about the last days and being able to read people's thoughts, all this sick stuff, you know, watching people take showers and stuff, you know, whatever. Um, right. So I'm not going to suffer you guys, anyone watching this. Again, there was a whole part that I recorded on another camera. I'm not going to upload it. I'm just going to upload this video. I felt like the Lord wanted me to do this and I really have to use the restroom and I'm a long way from home and uh, I don't know, probably a little too much detail. I had to figure that one out. All right, thank you for tuning in guys. Um, just a little Halloween walk and Lord, in the name of Jesus, I just lift up, uh, come to you in Thanksgiving and Lord, I, I just lift up your cause, lift up your kingdom and we bind the devil in the name of Jesus. We bind the devil in the name of Jesus. Go down this little road. We bind the devil in Jesus' name. And we lift up your cause, Lord. We love you. We thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. We love you very much. And yes, I, I do see the hunter becoming the hunted. I know the, I know um, these signs in the moon have to do with the wicked. I first noticed this um, in the Mazareth. Um, when the Mafia started first coming after me when I was in the city, um, there was a slight eclipse in the moon one of those nights. And that's when I first noticed, whoa, like, this stuff is real. The signs and the stars are real. And it made me discern that, okay, the signs in the moon have to do with the wicked. And we're on a hunter's moon tonight. And yes, the hunter is going to become the hunted. I, I, I come in agreement with that. I receive that. They don't like that. Whatever. So, uh, that's the deal. Alright, false alarm on that one. <sighs> so that's it. That's the deal. I am in this little tiny town in this circular anomaly, which, uh, originally started as a, uh, Christian God-fearing area to uh, redeem this land. And we come in agreement with that, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. I'm going to go, guys. Thank you for watching. I know this is long. Anyone who's been watching, I'm just going to go and spare you the time. God bless you. Thank you.